But yeah, they're freaking everywhere, and I don't mind them one bit. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. So, yes, it's been a little bit, and I want to do a quick, maybe five to six minute video on uh, my DIY sump that I built. Uh, I do have a bunch of videos actually going to be coming out here in the upcoming weeks and getting ready to celebrate the one year anniversary of my 75 gallon reef tank. A lot of changes are going on in the display right now. A lot of good things, that's for sure. I'm looking at them right now. Oh, yeah, lots of good things. Really want to show you guys, but we're going to save it till right around September 16th. Um, this sump here, if you didn't see the video when I first installed this, when I first you know, put it all together, I will leave a link at the top right hand of your screen. There it is right there. That is for this original video. Um, a few things have changed. A couple things, yeah, eh, like three or four. Anyway, let's get through it. So. Uh, I don't know if you guys are noticing this. I know a lot of people always joke around and say I have the cleanest sump in the world. You see all this white stuff all over the place? Yep. So I have changed something different with my routine. It's been a very long time. And I started dosing Fido again. And literally days after I started dosing Fido, I got these little pineapple sponges everywhere. That's a good thing. Pineapple sponges is a good sign of a healthy system. You don't really have to worry about these things getting into like impellers. They do shred up pretty easily, so you don't have to worry about that. But yeah, they're freaking everywhere, and I don't mind them one bit. But anyway, um, start on the left side. The sump sock right here, I'm still using my little DIY uh, some sock holder that I made out of paracord and some zip ties. I just I just wrap it around the handle once and when I need to change it boop, I pull it open over and put in a new one. I have taken advice from Sharp Buckles since I'm running a softy dominant tank right now. He says when your, your sump socks overflowing change it. So that's what I've been doing. If I see it where it's just about to overflow, you know, like maybe the next day it'll overflow, then I'll change it. But otherwise, when I hear water overflowing, that's when I'm changing my sump socks, keeping it as simple as possible with this tank, and it's working. Um, the skimmer, this is the Essence 130 by Reef Octopus. It's kicking butt. I actually got some advice from a buddy on Instagram. Um, it's, it's awesome. So the recommended height for the... Uh, Essence 130 is 7 to 8 inches and I saw that he made a post on it and it's working and um, his water level is at 5 inches so I made a quick skimmer stand out of Corian and it's just at about like 5 and an eighth, five and an eighth inches off um, you know of water height that it's sitting in the bubble plate is actually literally a half inch below the water level and ever since I made that change some days you know, I wouldn't see any type of bubbles or, you know, this skimmate right here. Well, I'll tell you what, ever since I put it in 5 inches instead of the 7 to 8 inches recommended, it's doing very awesome. The best it's ever run since I've owned it. Super quiet skimmer, ultra silent, really easy to clean. Um, you know what, I will leave a link at the top right hand of your screen on this skimmer as well. I love this thing. I will always recommend it. I wish it wasn't red. I know that's the Reef Octopus uh, color most of the time, but yeah, the thing is awesome. The center section, refugium section, whatever you want to call it, still got all my marine pure spheres doing well. Got some frag plugs in there pre-soaking. I did take a rock out of the display and just threw it back down here. Not sure where I want to put it yet. Might create an island, but might as well let it soak down here, right, and stay good to go. Uh, anybody that knows me, pinky filters are my one of my favorite things. You can see here that it is a little green, probably from the Fido. I'm sure the Fido is still working. Um, I change this out maybe twice a week, and that's about it for that. Jabo return pump still doing good. Now, you can see here that I don't have the Lifeguard Aquatics reactor in anymore. I took it out. I wanted to go old school, the way I always did it in the past and it actually lets me see 
you know, not having it in here anymore. I do love it. I, I really did like it. It made things very easy. But I did, you know, go back to what was easier for me, and that is the old, good old dual reactor. This is a little DIY one I made. It's got the um, aluminum brackets on the back there. It's a little different. This is the one with the half inch full port ports on it, so it gets good water flow. I literally just turned it on. Nothing in the left hand chamber. A little bit of air bubbles in there, but you, they usually work themselves out. And then carbon on the right. I left the left side open because I like to run Fosgard, and I haven't been doing that for weeks now. It's been weeks since I've had Fosgard in here. I am keeping track of my phosphates. I'm right around 0.05 to 0 0.04, um, and that's with no water changes and not rinsing my food either. But um, and then I, you know, have the outlet where it comes down 90s and goes directly faces the return. You guys can see there. The one cool thing about this is, is when I do put carbon in and I want to rinse it out, you know, I always rinse this under the sink, but when I turn everything back on, I don't want any dust going in. So I put a union here. I just take this union off, put a bucket under it, turn this back on, and then I take about, I don't know, half a gallon out. And the pump is actually levitating off of the, it's not actually on the bottom of the sump. It's just kind of sitting in midair. As you guys can see there and when I want to do some work on that that's easy as well I have a union right here just take that union off I take this whole piece of pipe off clean the pump put it right back on literally takes minutes um, that's why I always say unions everywhere but that's it for the sump everybody I'm looking at the display right now I know you guys can't see it I don't know I don't have a gel filter on let's take a quick look maybe you guys can see this new mushroom I got right there. Quick peek, no gel filter. Woo, oh yeah, and there's a lot of shimmer going on. We'll get into that eventually as well. But yeah, everything in the tank is doing good. I don't want you to see everything. Got some really cool frags, but that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Was hoping to stay under, you know, six minutes, but I've gone a little bit over. So stay tuned, hope everybody's doing well. It's the end of summer, back you know, the season for me, I'm in New Jersey, so I'm getting ready for the fall weather, which I don't mind, but hope everybody's summer was good. Hope everybody's doing well. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Later. All right, I just want to thank you guys again for stopping by. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And while you're here, hit that little crab icon to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell for any future videos or updates. And in case you haven't seen these two videos, you might want to click on one and check it out. Again, thanks for stopping by.